Step into the intriguing world of A Place in the Sun, a 1951 cinematic gem that unfolds a tale of love, ambition, and the moral complexities of human desires. Directed by George Stevens, this classic Hollywood production boasts a stellar cast, leaving you with the question, which iconic actor was your favorite in this gripping narrative? As we delve into the movie's nuances, discover random facts that add layers to the narrative. Did you know that the film is an adaptation of Theodore Dreiser's novel An American Tragedy? This connection to literature lends a profound depth to the characters and their dilemmas. The film's seamless blending of drama and romance creates an atmosphere where the audience is compelled to ponder the choices made by the characters and the consequences that follow. Before we further explore the intricacies of A Place in the Sun, let's shift gears and ask, what is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic masterpiece? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. We would love to hear your unique perspectives on this timeless classic. Now, back to the movie. With a compelling narrative and memorable performances, A Place in the Sun immerses you in a world where dreams and reality collide. The moral dilemmas faced by the characters resonate with viewers, making it a thought-provoking journey that transcends time. So, what classic Hollywood actor left an indelible mark on you in A Place in the Sun? The characters portrayed by Montgomery Clift, Elizabeth Taylor, and Shelley Winters contribute to the film's enduring legacy. Their performances draw you into the emotional complexities of the story, leaving a lasting impression. As we wrap up this exploration, remember that your insights and memories are a vital part of the cinematic conversation. Share your thoughts below and let the discussions flourish. Step into the past, relive the drama, and reflect on the timeless themes that make a place in the sun, a cinematic masterpiece. Your journey into the world of classic Hollywood begins here. Based on Theodore Dreiser's novel An American Tragedy, the 1951 film adaptation, directed by George Stevens, unfolds a gripping narrative centered around George Eastman, a working-class man aspiring for upward mobility. Starring Montgomery Clift as Eastman, and Elizabeth Taylor as his love interest Angela Vickers, the film weaves a tale of ambition, love, and moral dilemmas. George's life takes a tumultuous turn when he becomes entangled in a love triangle, torn between his impoverished girlfriend Alice and the glamorous Angela. The film's evocative cinematography, capturing the stark contrast between the characters' social backgrounds, reflects Stephen's distinctive directorial style. The iconic courtroom scenes and the dramatic climax underscore the moral complexities of the human condition. A critical and commercial success, the film left an indelible mark on popular culture, earning multiple Academy Awards and cementing its status as a classic exploration of the American dream's darker facets. Its enduring impact is a testament to the timeless themes explored within the narrative. In the production of this cinematic gem, titled A Place in the Sun, the creative team, led by director George Stevens, implemented intriguing elements to enhance the viewer experience. Notably, during a scene featuring Montgomery Clift and Elizabeth Taylor joyfully speeding across a lake in a boat, the ominous engine sound was crafted using recordings of German Stuka dive bombers. This unexpected choice added a unique dimension to the film's atmosphere. Interestingly, the movie underwent a title transformation due to the earlier box office failure of the 1931 adaptation of Theodore Dreiser's novel, An American Tragedy. Seeking a fresh identity, the filmmakers initiated a renaming process, offering a $100 reward for the best alternative title. George Stevens' associate Ivan Moffat clinched the prize with the fitting and memorable title A Place in the Sun. However, despite this success, Moffat never received the promised reward. One standout moment in the film revolves around Elizabeth Taylor's portrayal of a fainting scene, hailed as one of the best ever performed by an actress. Despite Taylor's nonchalant attitude towards her own well-being, the sheer realism of her fall, landing on her ribs and face, induces a visceral reaction from viewers. These behind-the-scenes insights contribute to the rich tapestry of A Place in the Sun, a film that transcends its era, leaving an enduring impact on cinema. The interplay of unconventional sound choices, title challenges, and standout performances serves as a testament to the meticulous craftsmanship that went into creating this classic piece of American cinema. Charles Chaplin considered A Place in the Sun the greatest movie ever made about America. In 1949, while the film was shot, Paramount Pictures strategically delayed its release until 1951 to avoid competition with another blockbuster, Sunset BLVD. 
This decision allowed director George Stevens extra time for meticulous editing, resulting in a final budget of $1.3 million and over 400,000 feet of film. Stevens, alongside editor William Hornback, spent more than a year perfecting the footage. The painstaking methods employed in the production contributed to the film's enduring impact and its recognition by Chaplin as a cinematic masterpiece. The deliberate timing of its release and the commitment to perfection in filmmaking reveal the dedication and craftsmanship that set a place in the sun apart in the realm of American cinema, making it a timeless portrayal of the nation's essence. George Stevens, the director of the film, had a unique way of maintaining the mood on set. Between takes, he played music composed by Franz Waxman, including the party theme. This added layer of ambience helped actors stay immersed in their roles. Interestingly, Montgomery Clift, who portrayed the lead character George Eastman, brought his drama coach, Mira Rostova, to the shoot. However, director Stevens took a decisive step, banning Rostova from the set and requiring Cliff to consult with her discreetly. Anne Revere, who played Cliff's mother in the film, had an intriguing age dynamic with the actor. Despite portraying his mother, Revere was only 11 years older than Cliff. Such casting choices often go unnoticed, but add a layer of curiosity to the film's production. Montgomery Cliff's commitment to his role was palpable. His intensity as George Eastman was so profound that he would find himself drenched in sweat at the end of a scene. Clift, in discussing the challenges of acting, remarked to co-star Elizabeth Taylor that the physical response to intense emotions like sweating was an unavoidable aspect of the craft. These behind-the-scenes insights into the music, casting choices, and Cliff's dedication shed light on the meticulous craftsmanship that went into creating the cinematic masterpiece known as A Place in the Sun. The interplay of these elements contributes to the film's enduring impact, making it a timeless portrayal of the human condition. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey through the timeless tale that unfolds in A Place in the Sun, I encourage you, dear reader, to pause and let the echoes of its narrative resonate within you. This 1951 masterpiece, a symphony of passion and consequence, isn't just a film, it's an invitation to introspection. Have you ever found yourself grappling with the complexities of desire, ambition, and the inexorable pull of fate? A Place in the Sun draws us into a nuanced dance of love and circumstance, leaving us with more questions than answers. As the credits roll, take a moment to sift through the chambers of your own heart. What chords does this story strike within you? What shadows of Montgomery Clift and Elizabeth Taylor linger in the corridors of your own experiences? Our shared connection with cinema transcends the flickering frames on the screen. It weaves into the fabric of our memories, sparking conversations that traverse time. So, I invite you to share your reflections, your musings on a place in the sun. Was it a mirror reflecting your own aspirations or a window into a world you've never known? Let the dialogue begin. In the quiet spaces between sentences, in the shared whispers of cinephiles, we uncover the magic that binds us across the decades. Your voice adds another layer to the story, enriching the collective tapestry of appreciation for this cinematic gem. Thank you for joining me on this expedition through the labyrinth of emotions and choices. Your time and thoughts are cherished like precious reels of film, each frame holding the potential for revelation and connection. Until our narratives intersect again, keep the spirit of a place in the sun alive in your reflections.